Hello, I'm Robert Grant and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. Today we're going to take a photograph of this camera comparing it to an antique camera. It's an assignment I got from a client of mine. We're going to use one light source. Uh, it's going to be a softbox using flash. So let's get to the set and see how we're going to do it. So here's the final shot. You can see it's black on black, very elegant, uh, something you may consider to be hard to light. So let's get over to the set. We'll show you the setup and then show you what we did to get this effect step by step. So here's our set. I've got the cameras on a glass background with black paper under it to make it a black shiny surface. We've got a soft box on the left. We have a black card for the background and a couple of black metal objects for graphic interest. I feel that the black on black makes it a very powerful image. So let's back the camera up a little bit and show you how we're going to light this. Now we see the entire set. We have our camera in the foreground here, our softbox on the left, our camera's on the surface, and I'm using a very small little table. And the reason for that is so I can get the light in very close and a little bit lower than the table to get the nice side light. And also it gives me a lot of height here so that I get a lot of light over the top of the cameras as well. We're shooting at F14, an 80th of a second, ISO 100, and the lens is at 72 millimeters. Uh, so we worked that exposure out earlier. So now let's turn on our flash and make an exposure. Well, that looks really nice. It looks very dramatic. Uh, it's a little bit too black. So let's uh, go on to the next step. Okay, that looks pretty good, but we need some light from the right. By the way, the sound you hear is the fan inside the head. So that's the that uh, sort of annoying rushing sound. At any rate, we're going to use a shiny board. It's a very shiny reflective board. Get them at the art store. And we're going to use that to reflect the softbox light back into the right side here and lighting the camera like that. We want to get it so it's really just on the Canon camera and let the, uh, the antique brownie camera go a little bit darker. So I'm going to get a stand for this and get this in position and we'll shoot one there. Well that silver board is doing a nice job of lighting the right side of the camera with that bounce off of the soft box. Well that worked out pretty well. We have a nice light on the other side of the camera now. It looks really good. But I feel that I'm a little dark on the front of the antique camera now. I'm not going to use this silver board for that though. This is our silver board we just placed. I'm going to use a white card. I'm going to bring a white card in like that, which is going to give a nice soft bounce from our soft box over and just light the metallic parts of that uh, antique camera. I have this card placed about 18 inches from the table and it's parallel with the soft box. So let's try one there. And there you have the final image again, the same image we showed at the beginning of this segment. But there you have it. It's really looking great. The, the sculpted light is nice. It's a one light shot. Uh, and see what you can do with one light, one softbox, and a couple of fill cards. A very successful shoot.